Right, so hello, here we are back again, and uh, as you can see, this is a topside view of uh, the Ecos command system. Hopefully, you can you can see all that. Uh, I'm gonna just zoom in very slightly. There you go. So, <clears throat> for the purpose of what um, I want to do today, I want to put my new engine, my new 44 picture on the system, and where you see here. This is the blank space. I want to put, I've got my class 20, so I want a 44 on there. So the first thing I have to do is I have to connect this to the internet. So <clears throat> I need an IP address from here. And what you do is you look at the top, you see all your icons. You're looking for the one with a little spanner. And it's like a the red I don't know what you would call it, like a red background, it's got a bit of a spanner. You press on that and it brings up this page here. And now on, if I pan out slightly, the other way, oh, there you go. If you can see down the left hand side here, you are looking for IP. And that is your IP address. You press that and it brings up this next page. Your IP address is the number at the very top. It, also, it will stay the same at the top. Now, me, I'm, with me being a scatterbrain and I can't remember anything, I have mine wrote down. So I now I'm going to connect up the laptop, put in that IP address into the web browser and bring up my system on the internet. <clears throat> so. Bear with us two minutes and we'll uh, whisk over to the other side of the room. Right, hello, we're back across the other side of the layout room now. Laptops connected up, all settled. So, what we're going to do is you're going to put in your IP address, what you've already wrote down, and you're going to type it into your Google search bar, which will bring up this page. Now, this page <coughs> is not the website, this is your ECOS command center. This is your system or my system I should say. So for the time being we really don't want any of this so we're just going to leave it as it is in situ. What you're going to do is you're going to open up a new tab. There you go. New tab and like me once you've bought your system you would have registered set up an account. So I've got mine saved in the favorites. We you just go on and uh, type the web address into the uh, browser and go onto their website. So anyway, I'm on to my account. You're looking at the top bar here in yellow. I want downloads, which brings up this page here, which is your sound files, firmware updates, instruction manuals. If you've got a week off to read all that lot, good luck to you. And what we want is local icon bazaar. So we're going to click on that, which brings up all these. But what we are after is a Pacific engine. So you've got a search bar to the right hand side here with a little magnifying glass. So you're going to type in class 44, which I've already done. Click a little icon, which brings up all of these. There are the 44s. And we're after this little one in particular, which is UK, British, BR, class 44. That's the one we want. So at the very end of the right hand side, you've got what looks like a an old style floppy disk, if you remember them. Click on that, that downloads it to the left hand side of my system here. I click on that, brings this up. This is the page picture I want to save. So, now we'll go up to the top here, save as, and I'm going to save it as pictures. You can save it anywhere you want which is our most convenient. There you go, that's saved in my pictures. Now, here's the tricky bit, see if I can remember this. What we do now, we go back to the previous page, this other tab, which is the ecosystem itself. And we're gonna to go to local images, and we are going to go to user defined image. And there it is. This brings up all the images on my system. There's all my um, trains I have on the system. I bring up this other page. What you would do is you go to the last page and look for the spare slot here. So all these slots are taken. Slot 
uh, all my different trains I have on the system. So there's some blank spaces there. That's my last entry, which was my class 20. So to transfer it from my pictures or your documents or wherever you've got it saved, you have a little icon to the right hand side here. And you click on that, and that brings up this page. What it is, you want to click on diesel because it's a diesel. And we're going to click on choose a file. So you click choose file, that brings up where you've just saved that from. Click on that image, and then you're going to go down to the bottom and click submit, which then uploads that image to the system. Now, this image is now on the system. So if we go back, use a defined image, scroll down, there it is there. That is next to the class 20. So what we have to do now is go back across to the other side of the room again and actually put this icon that's now on the system on so it shows on the engine when we'll I have the engine on the track. So bear with us and we'll whisk across back to the other side of the room in a more. Just a quick note, I did forget one last little thing. Actually, before we finish on here, everybody, you have to restart your system for this to actually go on to the ECOS itself. Um, so before you do anything, once you, you have uploaded this picture on here, um, go to the left-hand side and restart device. Now be careful what you click on here, folks, because you can reset to factory default settings you don't want to do that believe me because then you would lose all the icons so look down and it's restart a device click on that and then you just again it brings up this page restart device click on that and it is restarting device now just click ok and just let it do its thing and while it's doing that i will whisk over to the other side of uh, the railway room and uh, put the actual icon on the system itself. So bear with us two minutes. So hello, back across again as if by magic and here we are, as you can see now, that engine has now appeared at the top. And that is the one I have on the main track at the moment. And if I wanted to alter that, just click the little spanner at the bottom, edit local, and you would go to user defined image, which is there, this little tab. Click on your little icon at the top, and there you are, there's all my engines there if I wanted to change that. It's gone back to my class 20. So you would then put that back, give it a tick, and there you go. So that is now, my class 44 is now on the system i do have to do all the icons um, along the side but my other video did show how we do that so anyway i hope that uh, explains how um, i put the actual pictures of the engines on on the system itself uh, i'm hoping to have a running session up and running sometime this week um, obviously with christmas coming as you can appreciate the uh, Christmas meals picking up a bit so it, it, I don't get to spend as much time as I would like in here um, and on that very subject all you lovely people out there if you've got kids and your kids are writing to Father Christmas be mindful kids if you're writing to Santa Claus put your address on because if you don't put your address in the card he can't write back to you because there are some uh, lovely people I think it's Edinburgh Mail Centre this year and this is where all the Santa mail goes before it gets to the North Pole. It goes to Edinburgh. And then we have a team at Edinburgh. I think it's, um, I don't know how many there is this year. And all they do, they make sure that every kid who has wrote to Santa, if they're right in time, gets a reply. And uh, so you need to get in nice and early. Make sure you put your address on the back or in the, the letter itself, kiddies. And I promise you, you will get a reply. 
I know I've got a bit of a list this year, so mine's going off uh, at the end of the week. So um, thanks very much for watching. I hope that uh, explained reasonably well how I, how I stick my icons under the ecosystem. If there's anything else people want to know, by all means, just, just leave us a comment. So uh, thanks very much for watching, and hopefully we'll have something up and running by next week. So bye-bye.